Hello everybody and welcome to another episode here on Talk Daily. Hopefully you have a great day wherever you are in the world. And today we're going to be talking about some mad machine. A very mad machine indeed. It's the Draco Dragon EV SUV. It costs something, I don't know, $300,000. That's 290000 but give me a break. 300000 okay? All right. So it says it has 2,000 horsepower go wing doors and everything else so before i go any further this article comes to us from car and drive and written by caleb miller as always have a link everything i show you in the description below so let's read the highlights the draco dragon is the second vehicle from the california based startup after the gte electric sedan that was revealed in 2019 and the drago has four electric motors with combined output of 2000 horsepower uh, Draco claims a 200 mile per hour top speed and a 9.0 second quarter mile. That's um, 9, not 9.1, not 9.2, 9. Uh, behind the going doors are a leather interior and a massive 17.1 inch touchscreen. The Dragon will cost about 290000 when it reaches customers in 20. 26 so it is uh, not ready yet it's four years uh it will be ready in about four more years just in time for the next world cup um but um looking at the vehicle um first and foremost uh this is obviously a startup company uh the draco motor startup based in san jose california and article saying first uh, they saw the Drago SUV this summer showing off dramatic going doors, announcing its wild 2,000 horsepower output. Um, understand that this vehicle is, is in conjunction. So let, let, I'm going to read you specifically from the article saying the, Drag uh, the Dragon Draco second vehicle after the Fisker Karma based GTE electric sedan. So that's what we're dealing with. Okay? It's kind of basically this, uh, this company, they're working together. And they're saying the electric uh, super SUV has now been revealed in full, showing off uh, athletic design. Um, looking at it, I think it looks fantastic. It's two-door gold wing. It seats four people. Um, I love the wheels. I just love the way it looks. Um, of course, the price range is what's going to get most people talking. But to be honest with you, the way inflation is, uh, $290,000. I mean, you're looking, there's a lot of SUVs out there that cost that much. Okay, from... From Lamborghini to Porsche, they're making things in that range. So it's not really that out of the uh, the context of a hyper expensive luxury fast SUV. That's that's vehicles out there that cost just as much. So they're not really charting that course in that direction. But most definitely, they. I mean, this is a brand new company. So for them to get consumers and they're gonna give you big numbers right two thousand horsepower you know those things so uh the article i mean you can go ahead and read an article i think it's really well written but the point is i'm um, looking at it i um i see the future at least in this right because this car is not ready yet and it's gonna be ready in four more years so if you want to know what car is gonna look like in the next four years this will be a very small glimpse of what it would be and looking at it all you see is um bunch of screens everywhere right those tablets are everywhere and um luckily you still have a pedals but eventually i think in the future we're really just going to be sitting in the car and the car is just going to drive itself but uh it's pretty close to that uh perspective the steering wheel gives you some options for performance i see these knobs i'm pretty sure it have something to do with performance that's a huge touch screen in front of you and um i mean looking at it it looks really nice it, I, I, we don't know anything about it any further than that. They, they, they talk about a 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Hmm. How do I put this in perspective? Today, when you go for a drive, look around you and see how many people are driving and they make some, you know, funny mistakes or errors, a judgment of errors, whatnot, right? Now, can you imagine a 1.9 seconds 0 to 60? Those people are making mistakes in the car that was nowhere near. I mean, the, the average consumer right now, zero to 60, I want to say seven seconds, right? Let's just say average seven, eight seconds. Um, if you have a sport car, you're probably doing like 3.5, you know, that's crazy, right? Like, but 1.9? Um, and remember, this thing weighs 5,000 pounds. I love how they give you numbers like 4,969. Get out of here. It's 5,000 pounds, okay? I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy heavy. 
that's not physics doesn't care if it's electric or internal combustion engine mass is mass and that's insane amount of mass yeah it's down low because the battery is low but it's a heavy vehicle 1.9 seconds 0 60 Ooh -wee. so that's why i got a 10 percent front calipers and six percent rear calipers and into clamming to carbon ceramic brake rotors a 50 50 weight distribution because you could do that now 50 50 weight distribution for internal combustion engine was a thing because he has an internal combustion engine and made it to a transmission. And, you know, that stuff is heavy. And usually it's heavier. The most heaviest component of internal combustion engine was the engine and the transmission. But now with an electric car, you put the batteries which way you want to put them. Because the battery is the heavier thing. You just put them in the middle. Before you know it, you got a mid-engine ship, technically. 50-50 weight distribution. Um, so, hey, there you go. They're talking about the Lamborghini Urus. Uh, that's, that vehicle also just as expensive. So... They're not really charting. I don't think they're being too overly dramatic with the price as far as the horsepower. 2000. Oh my God. Of course, it's all wheel drive, but uh, I, I don't know. I mean, this picture is obviously in Italy. I say obviously, but it does look like it. And I see the eye right here. So, Italia. Uh, Italy is gorgeous. If you've never been to Italy, oh my God. It's beautiful. Fall in love. Italy is, is a gem of a place, especially driving in Italy is gorgeous. So Spain is also pretty. You know what? I'm I'm done. All every country has a beautiful area. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Every country is beautiful, but Italy is gorgeous. Um. Anyway, so um, the talking about the Lamborghini, comparing to the Lamborghini. Um, I don't know. I personally um, I'm kind of I look at these pictures and here what comes down to my honest opinion. Uh, I just see distractions everywhere. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> this screen to me. Uh, do you need it? Uh, I mean, I know I'm nitpicking, okay, but. It's expected at that price range is expected. And again, this is a prototype. Um, didn't say it's a prototype, but I'm, I mean, it's obviously running at work. So um, maybe in the future, just they, they change things up. But um, this has nothing to do with this specific car. It's just the, the direction and all, I believe, all modern cars are going. They're going more and more uh, to provide you with data. Here's data, whichever way, the, the way to provide you data will be obviously monitors, right? Look at these data here. and um. I mean, other cars did it. Other performance cars did it. They used to have gauges telling you your water temperature, oil pressure, oil temperature, whatnot. But this is the modern way of doing it, which a bunch of display regarding, I don't know, your next song or destination right here is a map, an aerial view of a map. So um, it is good. I honestly don't see anything wrong with this vehicle. I don't know why it's taking so long, maybe uh, production. Uh, obviously, um, it, well... I, I, I kind of have an idea, you know, when you make cars, cars are very hard to make. It's a very expensive proposition to make. So anyways, um, good for Draco Dragon. Uh, and, uh, you know, hey, they're, they're local here in the Southern California. So I wish them the best of luck. Uh, this vehicle looks amazing. The gold wing, obviously, is very eye-catching. And um, one note, see the little mirrors on the side, the side mirrors. Usually production cars don't have it. I don't know why. I've seen it so many times where... A production car, whether it's an LA Auto Show or some auto show somewhere out there, or um, a concept vehicle has a little mirror on the side next to the door, and uh, it never really makes it into production model. So I hope they have it because I really like those little mirrors. Because if you have a camera, that really all you need. I mean, you could look in the monitor and you could see. And if you look at the uh, inside, you could see that. I think that's the monitor right here, maybe for the for the camera. So the driver could look right and left inside the cabin, and he could clearly see. Uh, what's behind them but again there's just my speculation that I specifically mentioned that uh, as far as the steering wheel you still have the rally inspired little uh, marker on top of the steering wheel that gives you the 12 o'clock position I guess and when you're driving really hard and you kind of gives you an idea which way the steering wheel is pointing it gives you an idea where the wheels are at but I don't think you're going to be driving this car in such a hurry in such a matter uh, this car is definitely is a luxury vehicle that just um because uh, obviously these brands need to do so draco dragon needs to be uh eye-catching right the price is yeah i want to say the price is competitive obviously when you look at a 2000 horsepower and a 0 69 seconds so that's what is going to get those uh, consumers that could afford this price range and get interested in this brand and start purchasing it and hopefully this company uh will able to uh, manufacture vehicles at a little bit lesser price and enter the market like tesla did you know so uh, we'll see the future is really bright for electric vehicles and um 
my personal opinion, which has nothing to do uh, with this company or this car, is uh, I can't wait until like electric companies just uh, uh, gear up their electric production uh, because uh, um, right here, if you don't know, here in Southern California, we have a lot of uh, when it gets really hot, we have a lot of blackouts, and uh, so I just hope the electric companies are able to provide us with a up-to-date electric grid that could, uh, um, you know, uh, help sustain this boom in electric vehicles. So, um, anyway, having said so, a beautiful car, and uh, it's going to be ready in 2026, according to a car and driver. Anyways, let me know what you think, as always, in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.